obviously we're in a Ryder Cup year. I wonder how it's felt for you as one of the best players in the world, you know, a former world number one, to have been on the outside of that mm -hmm. and not able to get in the door for the, for the Ryder Cup. Yeah, it's not something I really think about like that I've missed out on because it's not really, I can't be a part of it. And we have the President's Cup and that's been, you know, a really hard journey for me, actually. Mm -hmm. It's not been successful at all. The Ryder Cup is a great week for me to be like a fan of golf and I get to watch these guys that I know really well mm -hmm. uh, from being out on tour with them. Mm. <laughs> I'm not going to say suffer, but you know, struggle out there <laughs> under incredible pressure because they all tell me it's a different level of pressure than they feel anywhere else. See, I'm most nervous teeing off the first Thursday at Augusta uh, all year. That's my most nervous just like the build up to the Masters yeah. after not playing a major for eight months or so and you know wanting to do well yeah. um, but they say nothing compares to the Ryder Cup and I so I, it's hard for me to relate to exactly that but I, I do enjoy watching the matches and if I do get the chance I, I'll sit down and watch them and and see how it unfolds because I know a lot of the guys pretty well now and uh, seeing how they handle the pressure and their personalities and, and the matchups, because I am a golf nerd, there's no <laughs> doubt about it. had been a part of the Ryder Cup at some stage in an alternative universe, who would you have liked to have been your captain? Ooh. What, what team am I playing on you here, by the way? <laughs> okay. can, I mean, I yeah. feel in my heart you're European, Yeah. but I, I'm stealing you for the Europeans. Yeah, I definitely have like a strong connection to the European tour. You yeah. know, going way back, uh, they gave me the invites to play when I turned pro and that was lucky breaks and I took advantage of them and and uh, you know I have a strong connection to the European tour there's no doubt um, wow who who would have I liked to play under I think, think I think some of the some of the uh, older older captains would have been great like Sam Torrance you know I was really lucky when I came on tour some of like the real stalwarts of the European tour were toward the end of their career, they were still playing, maybe past their prime, some of them, but I got to meet some great characters at that point um, and, and le learn a lot about, you know, the way they've developed their games and, and that, I think. Sam, you know, I remember when he won as captain and the passion and everything. And, and I think, ho hopefully, I've seen some real changes in the President's Cup the last few years and I, I think certainly from the international side that that's now really developing. Mm -hmm. I think guys r really want to play on it and we're getting guys like Tom Kim who yeah. have grown up wanting to be part of that team yeah. and it's getting better and better and I think now a lot more kids from around the world are going to grow up with like a passion for that competition like Europeans have shown in the Ryder Cup and hopefully that equals results of mm. us winning mm. uh, the President's Cup. So. Yeah. What do you think makes a good partner and on the golf course? And, and I'm going to throw that another tricky question at you and who, who if you could pick from, from a Ryder Cup environment, past or present, would you like to, to partner with? 
Um, I've always had like huge respect for Jose Maria Alathabal. Like I played with him early in my career and just looking into his game, I didn't really get to speak to him much then, but a few things here and there and, and uh, he gave me some advice when I, when I asked early on in my career, but obviously he's a legend of the Ryder Cup. Mm -hmm. uh, but I just always loved his, like, he, he, he always shot the best score he could to me. That's how I saw his game. Whether he was playing good, bad or indifferent, he was going to shoot the best he could that day. And I think being a grinder in match play is just so great. I would, I would love to have a guy like that as my partner. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think, you know, he and Seve had a dynamic, but um, that grinder mentality can be so damaging in match play because you can be off and sclaffing it around in those pars that have holes when the other guy thought he was going to win because he's sitting cosy on the green. Um, you know, it's so demoralizing yeah. when that guy keeps doing that all day. So, you know, I, I, I would like to play with Ollie, I think. And the predictions for this, I cannot ask you. Tonight, <laughs> it wasn't quite planned, but yeah, who, who do you think is going to win? I think Europe's going to win. I think it's going to be really, really close. Yeah. Uh, but I do feel like it's it's an important start for Europe, uh, you know, but the, the team is really strong. I mean, I think maybe, maybe starting the year, it wasn't looking as strong as it was, but Europe's top players are playing fantastic. And, you know, Tommy Fleetwood's had a great year and he is a top player, but then to have him in form coming in, yeah. you know, a lot of things have changed over the last nine months. And yeah. so I think it's close and I think Europe will keep this run on home soil going.